Hey guys, so this is a review from the AEW Unraveled uh, Hangman Adam Page. Um, this is one I got late. This is like an older series. I guess like the Unravel was like that first first group. Um, yeah, series 5. I felt like I jumped on series 1 a little late and then a lot of this stuff just kind of came out like in a wave or something. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> can't remember where I found it. <laughs> so I think I may have just traded some stuff at a comic shop or something. But um, kind of see like what's inside. Looks like he's got a mask, an extra hand, a mug, shot glass. Um, the AW look on the side, on the back. Got these. Um, I feel like these two are the ones I see everywhere. The rest of the way, like I've seen Jungle Boy and Lucha Service, kind of. I didn't see Adam Page much, and I didn't see John Moxley much. So I got that John Moxley too, but like it was, you know, at a comic shop or toy shop, I mean, or something like that. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna open them up and uh, see what's inside. All right, so I got Hangman out of the package. And um, so as far as the accessories go, we got a frosty mug. It's like a kind of translucent looking. Um, it's very solid. Like, you know, giving just a little pressure, like it doesn't move much, so. Um, shot glass, which is kind of the same material. It's kind of like a rigid, maybe octagon kind of shape on the back. Yeah, I think it's eight sides, I don't know. And then we got like a, uh, kind of like a trigger finger. Finger ends or whatnot. Um, now the package, he has like these kind of gripping hands. Um, let's see. He does have like this plastic around his belly. Um, let's see. I'm going to take it off real quick. Definitely appreciate that. Um, they add stuff like this just to kind of, you know, I guess keep the paint from rubbing. So definitely appreciate it. Sorry, it's taking time to figure out where it goes. So we got that. Um, this mask looks like it goes around, yeah. So you can see kind of right there it goes around his neck. So you basically have to take off the head to take off the mask. So let's do that real quick. Whoop. I'll do it behind camera just to get some leverage. Okay. And ball joints. God, that's really loose. Wow. Wow, <laughs> had a pretty loud pop when we're going back home, but yeah, there it is. Um, so here's the match, just a closer look at it. Got his name, Adam Page. Well, here they kind of cut off the A damn page. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or something, but kind of funny. Cowboy shots. That's a good rubbery, solid piece of material. Uh, close up of the face looks pretty good. Definitely has some good swivel. Um, nothing too with long hair characters like their head kind of goes so far back because of the thing. But uh, his head is loose. Like, I know that ball joint right there is pretty loose. Um, I guess I'll do like a facial comparison. Yeah, I can't use the one on the back, but compared to the one on the front, that's, yeah, pretty good. This face is a little glossier. I feel like the forehead's a little bigger than it should be. Um, let's see, fist, let's see how well this will come off. Sleeve ones come out too. So 
So he just has the right elbow sleeve, and that <clears throat> seems to move around pretty good. Um, stays on good too. That gives a lot of movement there. So like the double joint elbow can gives us some flexibility. Um, pretty good articulation. The vest itself is pretty movable. Um, has like all the designs and stuff on it. Nothing on the back, so for the sculpt. Um, let's see. Has a belt here that moves around pretty fluidly. It's a little loose. So like if you're trying to put it like above his pants or right there at it, it kind of falls down pretty easy. Um, that's like the things here on the back. <clears throat> so I don't know, I guess you could do it kind of like that. Um, let's see, knee pads. I know this is design kind of goes through the knee pads. Well, one knee pad, he don't have one here. The design just kind of carries over through the mold. Um, but and that's where the tail here. It looks like it does. Like this, they just did the same uh, design here on the knee pad and just it's in the sculpt as well. Um, it has like cowboy boots, so there's like kind of like that V in the front and the back. And they did mold it, or I'm sorry, did the articulation there. So that's where the boot moves. <clears throat> Um, we look at ankle pivot like the other figures. Let's see. The knee pad, like, it's a little restricted by these tassel things on the back. So, um, this and the hangman on the waist. Um, and these are pretty firm. But he does have, like, um, yeah, that swivel. So that goes like that. So that one's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's solid, you know. And I think I like the extra detail here with the uh, extra pieces. You know, you're getting like almost like an ultimate. With AEW, I think you're getting almost ultimate. WWE ultimate quality is what I'm referring to. <laughs> trying to refer to. Um, with the figures. Um, almost that good. Like I think this quality here is better than like um, the usual A or WWE Elite. So, um, let's see, we get the vest back on. Oh, I was gonna do the trigger finger real quick. And yeah, see how good that goes on. And that's something too. Like the wristbands, like it's almost like they they kind of made like a. Made it concave a little bit. So the wristband, it's just painted on, but like it seems to, there's not a gap as bad. With like say a WWE figure or something like that. Same painted, but they just kind of gapped it where it hides this joint. So that looks a little better. Um, get this vest on. Let's see, I always like to do this, kind of like bring their leg, arms back, kind of bend them. I'm always afraid I'm going like to tear one of these things up. Because these figures are not as easy to find as they, you know, as we all know. So it goes on pretty good. Um, let's see the shot glass, see yeah, how well that goes in. Oh, the ridges kind of help too. It kind of helps, um, almost like a ratcheted feel, like where it gets bent on, like regular. So you can have him taking a shot pretty easy. Yeah. I tell you, if you're not taking a, if you're not giving the finger gun when you're taking a shot, man. You ain't doing it right. So. <laughs> But yeah, that holds in there really good. Um, the beard mug. It's a little bit different. It's a little loose. Um, I don't think it's better with this hand. Yeah, it's almost like it's just whole life by the fingertips there. If you hold it around, it seems to do a little better. So, my suggestion is going to do the beer mug. I would 
proper kind of like that. And then we do something like this. I don't know. It just depends on what you want to do, but yeah, really solid. You know, I don't think we've made another figure around page. I know so prominent. He was champion. I don't know if he's champion now, but like he was champion not too long ago. So, um, yeah, might be the only one out there right now. I know they're making more waves here soon. It's supposed to be pulling out like a lot. So, might be another one, you know, coming out soon. But um, yeah, this one's excellent. Very good. So we'll get eight and a half. So we'll give it a review. Go get it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.